What Coronavirus Taught Us About Money Coronavirus has affected everyone's life in one way or the other. Due to this new pandemic that we have in attention, being only cautious is not an option. Large number of macro and micro businesses remained closed and some even went bankrupt. So, in its current situation of economic uncertainty, what lessons did coronavirus really taught us about money? Any crisis always crystallizes our financial mistakes. What wrong decisions we made, where we lack financial literacy, and where just discipline. Now is the time to work on these errors, so that when the next crisis comes, we will be fully prepared. Let's discuss more about it. Before we dive into the details, smash that like button so that the videos will reach to a broader audience. And also, subscribe to our channel to get notifications while we post a new video. Number 5. Emergency Fund is Not a Joke Of course, we knew this very well before. But now, this proverb of personal finance has become especially relevant. Now, as never before, we understand that anything can happen, anytime. Life will always give you surprises. With savings equal to the average spending of three to six months, such a surprise won't unsettle you. During the pandemic, we clearly understood that financial airbag is a necessity. So, if you still don't have an emergency fund, we will highly recommend that you build it as soon as possible. Number four, what part of our expenses are really necessary? As a matter of fact, it turned out that we can live without meeting friends at a bar, without dining in at restaurants, without manicure and haircuts in the salon, without shopping, without expensive dinners, without going for a movie, and the list goes on. We changed our lives on many values and thought, is it possible to moderate your consumer passion even after the pandemic? The answer, of course, is yes. The expenses that we thought were necessary, in fact, are not. Many of them did save a lot of money when they were forced to sit at home. So, it is possible to enjoy or have a good time with friends without going to expensive bars. It is possible to cook at home instead of going to restaurants every day. It is possible to live without shopping every month. Everything is possible, but most of them are not willing to do it. It's okay to spend money on something once in a while, but you can always find an alternative for everything. If you are already budgeting, you would have known by now how your expenses decrease drastically. Reflect on this new knowledge about yourself, and next time when you indulge on a luxury purchase, ask yourself if you really need it. Number 3. You need to teach children about personal finance. The coronavirus has shed light on people's low financial literacy, but it can also act as a catalyst for change, encouraging parents to take their child's education more seriously. Parents who switched to homeschooling began to add topics such as personal finance to the curriculum on their own. It has become apparent to many that the focus should be shifted from academic knowledge to applied skills. They will really help children in the future to live more successful and happier. Number two, it's important to save and invest for retirement. Many people just do not save for retirement. The reasons are conventional, lack of money, low financial literacy, and most importantly, not taking it seriously. Now is a good time to reconsider your views and take your own old age more seriously. Imagine you don't have anything saved up for retirement and a pandemic like this hits you. Let's say you have a steady income and you've been retenched. It's hard to find another job at this age. Most of them want youngsters who are energetic and active. It would be hard for you to survive during this. So it's important to have an asset that gives you an income. Some of them think that retirement is far away and you don't have to worry about it now. That's the worst thing you can do to your older self. The younger you invest, the more you have during retirement due to compound interest. If you haven't started yet, start today. Number one, depending on a single income is stupid. Your salary shouldn't be your only source of income. You should find another source immediately. Be it a side hustle or investments, you definitely should have one. With the internet era, you can sell any skills online. If you love writing, start writing for someone else. If you have a skill in coding, do it for someone else online. There is a tremendous opportunity out there. Make use of it so that when the next pandemic hits, you are ready to battle it. So that's all for today. How has your life changed because of the pandemic? What financial lessons have you learned from it? Comment below your answers. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up 
and do subscribe to our channel to get updates on our new videos.